kids, I had a purpose and it was to make sure that they were safe. We just hung out, you know, we just distracted our minds. I have my dog Bingo to keep me company, part of my team, while I have to sneak into mum's room because I get scared. They sort of, like when it starts raining and my little, well she's, well she's turned seven, and she's like, is it going to stop now? It's going to stop? So it's going to stop. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, when the power goes out, they get a little bit anxious. But, like, we've still got lights connected up to batteries and we've still got the generator in the shed. So they can see all of this, so we'll be fine. Okay. The kids were really worried, even once the Bailey Bridge was built, mm. the kids were really like, what if there's more rain and the bridge yeah. washes away again? Mm. Yeah, and, and just making sure that if there were questions, that we could answer those questions for the kids in a way that would kind of alleviate the anxiety a yeah. little bit. Like, yeah, trying to focus on things that weren't the cyclone and things that they that were more positive. The kids did want to talk about it and share their experiences and yeah, and that helped them a lot. When that causeway opened and the first trip down there and we took the kids to show them what had gone on and I was crying from resenting from the statue. Going around the causeway and my grandson looks at me and goes, why are you crying then? I said, it's so sad that somebody's house. He goes, but it's not people, it's a house. If I feel like we need a break, or we just stop what we're doing and go, go, like, go outside for a run or a game or a, you would have a brain break. Like every night we'd say how thankful we were because we still had each other and we hadn't lost the other people. So. And that's what we um, put into the kids.